Digital voice recorders are versatile tools that can be used in a great variety of ways in the classroom. Even analog recorders, or tape recorders as they are called, can be an important addition to the language classroom. They can be used to give students more opportunities to speak. They can be used to record voiceover for presentations or videos. And they can be a part of conversations. The recording from digital recorders can easily be transferred to a computer through a USB cable and manipulated or used in many different ways. In the following video segment, the teacher is listening to recordings that students made talking about their future plans. Notice how she responds, modeling correct pronunciation and grammar as she replies to each student individually. Thanks everyone. The four people who did the oral journals this week, please give me your voice recorder before you leave. The rest of you, have a great weekend. Thanks. See you on Monday. Okay, who did video journals this week? I'm going to start with... Uh, let's see. Okay. Dear teacher, I am hope you are well. I'm very enjoying your class. In my future, I will want to be teacher too and help my country be good in the world. Teachers is very important and it does a lot for the country. They help us child be smart and grow up good. When I, when I will finish my university, first I will go to my hometown to visit my parents. Second, I will get a job as teacher and I will want to get a higher degree and maybe will be a professor. That's all for now. I will wait to hear you. Hmm, it's interesting that Ahmed wants to be a teacher. I'll have to comment on that and encourage him. Teachers are important. Hmm, Ahmed's pre pronunciation is pretty good, but he uses will in the wrong places, so I definitely want to model that back to him. Okay, let's see. Hi, Ahmed. Thank you for your journal. I am well. I hope that you had a great weekend. I'm glad that you want to be a teacher. I agree that teachers are very important. When I was young, I wanted to be a ballet dancer, but I was not a very graceful person. Do you know what graceful means? I'm glad now that I'm a teacher. When you finish your university, your parents will be very happy to see you. What will you study after that? Um, what will you get a higher degree in? Thank you for telling me about your future. Because the purpose of a dialogue journal is to encourage fluency rather than to correct every error, the instructor uses the recording technology to have a conversation with the student that she otherwise might not have time to have in class. This student will reply and turn in another journal entry in two weeks and the conversation will continue. This strategy helps the teacher get to know the students well and they her and it helps them to practice their listening and speaking with an expert something otherwise difficult in EFL situations. The teacher could also have peers respond to the journal entries for more speaking and listening practice. In the dialogue journal, the voice technology is used as a tool to support learning in ways that would be difficult without it. In the second video segment, the teacher has the students use the voice recorders on their computers with headphones and microphones to record fairy tales from their countries that they have written out. The students listen back to it and revise anything that they don't like the sound of. When they are done, their peers will listen to the stories and give them feedback. Notice the teacher's role in this assignment. Okay, I'll be the narrator. I am the boatman. I'll be the scholar. Okay, all of you ready? Let's record. The Boatman, a story from the Middle East. A scholar asked a boatman to row him across the river. The journey was long 
and slow. The scholar was bored. Boatman, he called out. Let's have a conversation. Suggesting a topic of special interest to himself, he asked, Have you ever studied phonetics or grammar? No, said the boatman. I have no use for those tools. Too bad, said the scholar. You have uh, wasted half your life. It's useful to know the rules. Later, as the rickety boat crashed into a rock in the middle of the river, the boatman turned to the scholar and said, Pardon my humble mind. That to you must seem dim, but why, man, tell me, have you ever learned to swim? No, said the scholar. I have never learned. I've immersed myself in thinking. In that case, said to the boatman, you have wasted all your life. Alas, the boat is sinking. Let's listen. What do you think? I think we could read it a little faster. I think so too. And we could it could make it smoother. Let's try again. Okay. Wendy? In this video segment, the students are using their class time to speak, listen, and read intensively. The use of the technology helps to support their work and it enables them to easily repeat it until it is done to their satisfaction. It also allows them to share their work and receive feedback from other groups that they can then use to make their recording better. The teacher's role in this task is to make sure that the technology is working well, to answer any questions that students might have, and to provide just-in-time feedback when students need it. Otherwise, the students are in control of their learning. All of this engages the students deeply in the task and provides effective opportunities to learn and practice the language. Such a task could be adapted and done without the technology, but it would be neither as effective nor efficient.